Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so this is going to be a little informational video just to get the word out there because uh, this is going to sound odd. Your 3D printer, or at least a part of it, may be violating U.S. sanctions, and that's going to be a problem for a lot of companies, um, several companies, in the next little bit. So just to preface this, this is not a political channel by any means, but for those that don't know, there is an ongoing situation between Russia and Ukraine. It's been going on for several years. I'm sure you're well aware. And as part of that, the United States government has sanctioned several companies for aiding Russia in that ongoing action. Uh, these are companies that are providing electronics and hardware and whatnot for drones, military equipment, etc. cetera. Um, so if, if companies are doing that, they get put on the naughty list. And I guess several companies were just added to that list very recently. Um, so this was on May 1st. Uh, the United States has sanctioned more than 280 individuals and entities targeting Russian military base uh, and chemical and biological weapon program, as well as companies and individuals in third countries that help Russia acquire key inputs for weapons and defense related production. So these companies are giving or selling stuff to Russia in violation of sanctions. And you can see here, these are several companies that were just added to Executive Order uh, 14024. And if we go down here, one of those companies is Morrison Science and Technology Co. Limited. Now, what is Morrison? Well, Morrison, for those involved in 3D printing, make power supplies. And several companies use those power supplies. So, for example, uh, Bamboo Lab. Printers use more and sun power supplies. Uh, probably gonna get chroma keyed out. This is my LDO V0, guess what? <laughs> yeah, that's a more and sun power supply. So several companies out there currently have kits or are, are selling replacement or just components that fall under this sanction list now. So what does that mean? Well, executive order 14024, um, by the authority invested in me as president, blah, 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 blah. Um, I am not a lawyer. Um, all property and interests in property that are in the United States that hereafter come within the United States or that are or hereafter come within the possession or control of any United States person of the following uh, persons are blocked and may not be transferred, paid, exported, withdrawn, or otherwise dealt with. Um, this is a long executive order. I am not a lawyer. If, if somebody here is, if you want to, like, in the comments below, please explain this fully, um, because I, I'm not even American. Um, I'm Canadian, eh? Um, so what does that mean? Well, I, I, as far as I can tell, you, you can't sell them. You, you can't sell these components, you can't transfer these components, you can't import these components, you can't export these components. So I, I just saw this last night. This is from DigiKey. Um, on May 1st, 2024, Mornson was placed on the United States sanction list. DigiKey is committing to complying with all applicable laws and regulations and has taken appropriate action. We have suspended all dealings with Mornson and immediately blocked all shipments of Mornson products to customers while continuing to assess the situation. As our customer, we value your partnership and apologize for any inconvenience this has caused. So if DigiKey, using DigiKey as an example here, and for those who don't know, DigiKey is a, a, a component seller. They, they're they basically an online radio shack from the good old days. You can buy all kinds of cool electronic stuff from them. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's looking like you just can't you can't sell them. You can't buy them. If you're trying to buy something from a company that's on that list, you're not. You're not. You're done. You're not allowed to. Um, at least that's what it looks like. Um, so a lot of 3D printing companies, 3D printer manufacturers, and other companies use the Morrison Sun power supplies. They're, it's just a power supply. So I, I'm, I'm not blaming any of these companies. I'm not saying any of them are at fault. None of them are at fault. They, they you know, oh, we need a power supply. This company makes a power supply. We're going to buy it. It's not their fault the company went and also sold components to the Russian government or military or companies and violated sanctions and got put on the naughty list. So this might be a little interesting in the next little bit because I don't know now if vendors that sell 3D printers that have these power supplies in them 
now can't um, if, if there's a, a, a a sea can on a on a boat on its way to you know get imported to the U.S. filled with printers or printer kits that have these power supplies. Are they now going to get stopped at customs? I've spoken to one company already that provides kits, um, and and they're definitely looking into what's going to happen to them. Um, so yeah, that's that's a thing now. Um, yeah, um, I don't think you have any problem if you you're, you already have a printer that has the power supply. The power supply is still going to keep working. It's just the, it's just the power supply. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, but if you're trying to buy a printer that's being shipped from overseas and it has this power supply in it and it's on the customs declaration um, or it's declared or customs looks in the box and sees what's in there you might be in trouble. Um, and I'm sure a bunch of companies are scrambling to figure out what's going on right now. So yeah, um, that's that's a thing. There's a little update for you, a little information tidbit for you. If you wanna help support the channel, content I create, things I do, consider becoming a channel member. Check out the links in the description. And yeah, I, I really wanna hear um, your thoughts and opinions on this. So um, I, for one, I'm not American, I'm Canadian. Um, I. I then again, most American laws of this sort, most other Western countries kind of follow along with that. So it, it, it's going to be interesting how this kind of plays out. If, if this is a nothing burger or if, you know, a bunch of companies can't be selling printers until they change over to like Meanwell or something. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing. Um, you're now informed about it. And I would love to hear your opinions about it in the description below. Don't forget to like the smash button before you head out. Cheers.